Hello and welcome to our AFT Fathom 13 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series, Video 1. In this video, we are going to discuss the status light, analysis setup, and blue highlighting. These features will serve as a guide to tell you what to complete to run a model and obtain results. The first thing you should pay attention to is the status light in the bottom right corner of the screen. To run a model, you need to turn the status light from red to green. By clicking the status light, you can open the analysis setup, which displays the groups that you need to complete to run a model. The analysis setup consists of groups, items, and panels. Groups are the top level category. Groups with a green check mark are complete, while groups with a red exclamation point contain items that are incomplete and require user input. Expand a group to see the items in that group. For instance, the Fluid Properties group has items for Fluid, Viscosity Model, Heat Transfer slash Variable Fluids, and Laminar and Non-Newtonian Corrections. Incomplete items will also be indicated by a red exclamation point. Click an item to open that item's panel. Clicking the Fluid item opens the Fluid panel, displayed in the main area of the analysis setup. The first undefined group is the Fluid Properties group. This is where you define your fluid information. As you can see, the default fluid option is a user-specified fluid. The minimal required input to fully define a fluid is the density and dynamic viscosity. Fields that require user input will have a red exclamation point. You can change units from the drop-down menus. Here, we'll specify appropriate values for water, such as one specific gravity of water for density and one centipoise for dynamic viscosity to fully specify the fluid properties. We now have a green check mark that shows the fluid properties group is complete. The next and last undefined group is the pipes and junctions group. Two pipes and three junctions are already on the workspace, but they are undefined. The Pipes and Junctions panel lists the undefined pipes and undefined junctions. We can also see this list from the workspace by clicking OK to save and close the analysis setup, then clicking the List Undefined Objects button on the toolbar. The list of undefined pipes and undefined junctions now appears on the right. When clicking a pipe or junction in the undefined objects list, the bottom section displays which required input is missing. It also moves the model to the location of the pipe or junction and will select the object on the workspace. This way, you are never left guessing what you need to specify in terms of input data. Additionally, by clicking the Show Object Status button on the toolbar, the label of all undefined objects will become red. With a pipe or junction selected on the workspace, Press Enter or double-click the object to open the property window for that pipe or junction. The property window is where you enter input information. The blue highlighting indicates required input fields within the property windows for pipes and junctions. After defining all of the objects, the analysis setup will show a green check mark next to every group and the status light will turn green. Here is an example of what a fully completed analysis setup with a green status light looks like. This model can run with the Run Model button on the main toolbar. In summary, the status light, analysis setup, and blue highlighting serve as a guide to help you make sure your model is complete before running. Use the status light to see if your model is ready to run. Click the status light to open the analysis setup and see the groups that are still undefined and use the blue highlighting to define the missing required input information within pipes and junctions. Once all the required fields have input, then all the groups in the analysis setup will have a green check mark and the status light will turn green. You can then run your model and examine your results. Thank you for watching and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Fathom 13 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series.